Hello, I'm Kate Alade. This is Yuki Layla. Um, uh, yep. <laughs> uh, we're here to play uh, Celeste, which is a wonderful game about depression and climbing mountains, um, anxiety as well, and a whole lot of other stuff. Uh, we've got Lahai as well, small highs on the screen with us. The adorable trans support shark. We love to, we love to see it. <laughs> uh, the incentive was meant to play as a jellyfish, so I've got a mod installed which will replace my sprite, uh, which would usually be a red-haired little girl, uh, well, woman, uh, with a jellyfish. Uh, so we're just going to get straight into it. And, and it time starts... Now. <laughs> okay. Uh, so a few things to explain as we get into prologue. Uh, there it, what you will be seeing today is uh, the speed tech that we use is generally a combination of the three actions that we have available to us, which is jump, dash, and climb. Uh, you'll be seeing Kate doing a lot of jumps here because when we don't have a dash, spamming bunny hops is the most optimal way to move as every single bunny hop increases your speed very slightly, so each jump saves about two or three frames uh, when you don't have a dash. But now we have dashes unlocked in this next chapter, so we'll start being able to use some actual speed tech. Yeah. Uh, the main three ones that you will be seeing a lot of are supers, hypers, and wall bounces. Uh, you so just saw. wall bounce, you do a little bounce off a wall? Yep. Uh, that's executed by dashing parallel to a wall and jumping out of the dash ah. before it ends. Uh, a hyper is uh, when you dash, uh, excuse me, if you, when you dash down diagonally into the ground from in the ground, on the ground, or in the air, and you da uh, jump out of that, and the super is the exact same thing, but with a horizontal dash. Oh my gosh, I haven't died that for ages. Oh god, that's... So this does involve a lot of dying, just in general, um, but it's fine because you die, you reset super quickly. Um, one of the like latest speedrun techs that beginner speedrunners find out about pretty late is that you can press confirm to respawn faster, <laughs> and as soon as you find out about that, you save like 30 seconds off your PB. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a very unknown thing for a lot of runners. At the very beginning, absolutely. It's so <laughs> frustrating. Um, some of the differences between running as a jellyfish and running as a metal line is that the hitbox is it's different, and I can't see how many dashes I have. Uh, if you pay close attention to my movement, you can see that there's a, red, a blue or a, sometimes a red uh, shadow behind me when I do a dash movement. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that uh, trail indicates uh, how many dashes you have left uh, after you've used it. But it doesn't tell me the information I need to know quite often, which is whether I have... Ooh, gosh. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, this so is called neutraling, which doesn't use my stamina to climb up. Yeah, I was about there to explain go. that. Uh, so that's chapter one. Oh, we're going to get oh, a lot gonna of... Oh, we're going to get so many achievements. So many achievements ah, here. You're so welcome whoever's got this. <laughs> uh, so how neutrals are executed is when you're up against a wall, generally if you're holding any direction, uh, you will be pushed away from the wall and can't gain any height from it. But if you are holding neutral, no direction on the uh, D-pad or arrow keys, when you press jump, then you will go away from the wall so that you can move back into it immediately afterwards. And that lets us scale walls infinitely without using stamina at all. Um, some... Sharp eye people may have noticed that I was not, in fact, a jellyfish for a minute at the very beginning of this. Um, it is a joke mod, so it doesn't have all the sprites completed because there are. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh, oh my gosh. god! Oh, I've gosh. never seen someone recover that like that. <laughs> I've done so many recoveries in that room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we are in uh, old site. Uh, the main mechanics of this, as you'll see, uh, every single chapter in Celeste has uh, a few different mechanics that the player has to adjust to on a first playthrough. Uh, you saw in Forsaken City, there are those traffic light blocks, which we like to call zippers or zip movers, uh, that whenever you grab or stand on them, they move a set amount, and they give you momentum, which you can use to jump and clear gaps. Uh, in here, we have these uh, little squishy space box, uh, blocks, bleh, which we uh, call dream blocks, which we can dash through and they set us on a set direction depending on the direction that we take. And chasing behind us is our adorable goth friend, which we have named Badalyn. Uh Right here, she is trying to chase us and kill us and send us back to the start of the room, but uh, she mimics our movements three seconds behind us. Yes, three seconds. Uh, so we can outrun her and outmaneuver her, as you just saw there, if we're fast enough. 
and Badline is actually so the same model as what we would normally look like, uh, which is information that you wouldn't have right now. <laughs> uh, but she is part of us, so she's representing like the anxieties and the. Uh, oh gosh, no! Ah, oh, that I hate it when that happens. <sighs> Wasted time. <laughs> what if Madeline was a red jellyfish? Oh my word! I got, want that. Got I want contact... just like a purple jellyfish chasing. Yeah, me. gotta contact the mod creator. <laughs> Uh, wait, just for um, uh, clarity's sake, who is the mod creator? Do you know? Just so uh, we can so the them. oh, I forgot the mod creator. The artist of the sprite is different from the person who published the mod. I can. The artist check. of the sprite is called Nico, uh, and they've also done an unpublished beautiful little duck mod, uh, which is so sweet. Except the person who plays with the duck mod then has a little mod installed, which calls Madeline spins in a circle and explodes. <laughs> So you get this little oh duck spinning in a circle and exploding, which is awful. Also, that's chapter two. All right. Uh, so there are seven chapters in total in the variety that I'm playing. Uh, and we're going to go to the third one now, which is where the difficulty really spikes. A lot of casual players get to this level and then say, no. A lot of people do not like this level, no. but it is my favorite level in the entire it game. Is my least favorite level in the entire game. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Celestial Resort. Uh, the mechanics are a lot more decentralized in terms of game design here and are more focused on the fact that this is more cyclical gameplay. Being, uh, there are dust bunnies that move around uh, a set pattern as soon as you enter the room. Uh, I should probably explain cycles, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, cycles uh, are pretty universal in every game. Uh, these start as a, a set position as soon as we enter the room. So, we will, no matter what we do in the room before, they will always be in the same position and we will always know uh, how to move around them uh, regardless of what we do. So, we always have a strat in mind whenever we enter a certain room when it has cycles. and. Uh, the funny thing about cycles is that uh, when you are spawning in, uh, the next time, pay attention to the next time that Kate dies, which obviously will be never. Oh, I uh, never die in the Celeste video game. <laughs> um, so whenever you uh, spawn in after dying, there is a little circular animation where Madeline is respawning uh, that takes up time, and the dust bunnies start, or anything that's cyclical, start loading in uh, while you are doing that. So we either, runners have to learn what we call a death cycle, which is a different strat to the room depending on uh, whether we die or not. And you'd or think that the opposite would be a life cycle, but actually it's an entry cycle because yeah. it's when you walk into the room. I disagree and I call it a life cycle, which no one else understands. I've never heard that before, yeah. but uh, that makes sense. It makes uh, sense to me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, so we either learn a death cycle, or if a death cycle is too hard to learn and people just say, nah, screw that, we uh, generally decide to just re-enter a room. But there are some rooms where we are forced to enter the, uh, to learn the death cycle as we are unable to re-enter them, which you yep. will see later on in this uh, chapter if Kate happens to die there. In this little section, pay attention to this room here, we've got three different types of blocks. This is the wrong entry. <laughs> uh, three different types of blocks that are in here. We've got the towels, the chests, and the books and we, we clear each of those because we're helping the resort owner uh, clear up some mess from this very long closed, very haunted uh, temp uh, not, not temple. Uh, resort. Resort. Hotel? Hotel. Yeah. Do you want me to talk about mess routing now? Yes. Uh, so m huge mess is one of the most, uh, in my opinion, the most ingeniously designed sections in any video game. So you have these three sections, and at the end of each section you have a button, uh, which Kate has just so lovingly pressed, thank you. Um, and that, as you can see, that has changed the layout of this hub room dramatically because one of the t platform types, which Kate shown, has shown previously, is now gone from each of the subsequent uh, sections. So depending on how, uh, on the order of which you complete the section, uh, the uh, platforms will be completely different. Uh, so we have routed this uh, section optimally so that uh, we can move through all these rooms fastest. And, uh, excuse me, the main thing that saves time with mess routing is uh, where we come out back into the hub room uh, and the location of where Ashiro is. Because the only way we can progress in this, lo uh, in this checkpoint is by talking to Oshiro after we've finished every single uh, every single room in these pathways. So we come back to Oshiro as you'll see here, and that unlocks the next it? pathway that we can take. So the main uh, factor in mess routing is the fact that we spawn as close to Oshiro as possible because coming out of a 
uh, exit that is far away from a Shira can actually uh, lose a lot of time. In other categories where we have to get the heart, that Master Radiant is different. Generally, we don't take tal the, the chest first. And the one where you get the berries, the optional collectibles, uh, is also different as well. It's a third pathing route. Um, no, I think it's actually the same for no, heart routes. No, they do slightly different. Really? Yeah. That's, that's or at least interesting. they did when I paid attention to it. <laughs> Uh, I might be misremembering, but anyway, oh, maybe Hundo. Maybe Hundo's different. I think all hearts and berries might mm. take different routes. Oh uh, yeah, all hearts is the one I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, we are now done with huge mess. Uh, we are we have cleared away all of the uh, mess blocks. I don't know what to call them. Uh, and now we have gotten that key, which we wanted to get because the exit to the room was right there for the entire time. Uh, now we are in elevator shaft. Funny thing, should, you want, should I talk about mess skip? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been theorized that we might be able to skip the entirety of huge mess, which would save about a minute 20 uh, off the run, because the if we can smuggle a key somewhere, or if we can get to uh, elevator shaft where we are now through a different part of the level, then uh, we can just completely skip uh, either like a minute 20 or like mm, like two minutes or I'm something. I'm just using, this is an interesting skip. Oh, yeah. So I'm using a spawn point over here so that I can respawn in the correct part of this room. Oh, I just missed it. If I went down, I'd have to do an awful, awful cycle room. But nice. I can do a little funny, a little funny dash. That is called a demo dash, which was discovered by Demo Jameson. It has nothing to do with a uh, game demo, which I thought for the longest time. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is a really punishing That's so room to die. I hate this room. That's so sad. <laughs> But uh, yeah, demos were discovered by Demo Jameson. Essentially what they are is, uh, I'm not going to go into the specifics, but if you hold down just as you're starting a dash and you redirect the dash, uh, then you'll be in a crouched hitbox. Madeline's normal hitbox is about four, uh, eight pixels tall, if I'm correct? Mm. Um, somewhere around there, and her crouch hitbox is four pixels tall, and it just so happens that that gap we dashed through is four pixels wide. So that was a pixel perfect trick that has about a four frame window. Uh, and it's got a very consistent setup that uh, is not too hard to learn. Um, and the devs, because they love us, actually put a binding in the game to let us just do the funny little demo dash uh, without having to do the weird little dash and then crouch and dash. Yeah, we yeah. Just have a button. Uh, there, there are ways that we actually bound uh, demo buttons uh, so to make demos easier through the use of uh, third-party rebinding software, but now the option is just given to us completely in-game. Which really evened out the uh, differences between like console and PC really fast. Yeah. Uh, ah. The devs are actually some of the coolest people uh, that, like, just, I know. Oh uh, my god, I'm gonna do this baby. Yeah, this is the this is one example of a death cycle that we have to take because the, uh, and the, let the transition uh, to our left is blocked off. So generally the death cycle is easier, but we can't reattempt it, so we only get one shot. And generally whenever runners die here, unless they have a very consistent death cycle, they are very thrown off. I have so consistent death cycle. I have no consistent cycle. I hate it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh god. Uh, you tapped out. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and that is uh, chapter three. I love to tab out during my video game. <laughs> Oh, I love video games. Uh, but yeah, back to the devs. They are just some of the coolest people ever. Uh, they have been supporting the speedrun scene for uh, Celeste literally ever since day one. Uh, the game was explicitly designed to be speedrun, and there have been times where they have patched, uh, technically patched out strats that have been faster. One example is they patched a set of spikes in that made the fast strat for getting a berry impossible. And one of the community members at the time uh, immediately went back to them, uh, went to the devs and said, hey, can you put, take these spikes away? And the devs just said, I got you. So they patched it out. And they have been very accommodating to uh, the speedrunning scene in a lot of ways by mainly giving us all of the tools that we have gotten in the most recent patch. I love them so much. Shout outs to EXOK Games, uh, Matt, uh, Matt, Maddie Thorson and Noel Berry, uh, amazing people. And the sound design in this game is also incredible. Uh, if you listen to it at any time, uh, the soundtrack is made by Lena Rain, wonderful uh, 
soundtrack artist was music uh wonderful music composer person. thank you that's the word. <laughs> uh and the sound design itself was done by power up audio uh and they did a really cool job i'm um, just gonna shout out my favorite chapter in this video game no i've never seen that before just gonna die <laughs> while shouting out my favorite chapter in this video game <laughs> 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 I spent six months just playing this chapter, uh, and it was worth it. Bridge is so good. I really like this Wonderful one. Wonderful chapter. That was a nice skip. That one's quite. That was that was a really nice skip. That was uh, very satisfying, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll notice in Ridge uh, we have these green bubbles or uh, blue, depending on whether you're colorblind or not. I am. Uh, <laughs> and uh, when we enter them, we have a certain uh, period of time before they force us to basically do a dash. It acts as if we are dashing, but we... I pressed uh, the wrong direction, and oh I did no. not get my dash back. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually dashing left here and then turning around so that I can get my uh, dash back in the middle of the air so I can get further. Yeah, uh, that is called a reverse hyper. I should ex uh, I should explain extending. Uh, so we mentioned it, but yes. Yeah, uh, extending a dash is referring to whenever we uh, do a super or a hyper. Uh, and we separate the uh, jump input and the dash input to Please where my jelly. Uh, <laughs> to where we are able to get our dash back afterwards. Because if you just press dash and jump immediately after each other, then you would uh, do the hyper and get no dash back. Oh, that's so hard. This is so rude. <laughs> well, um, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Okay. Thank God. That room is terrible if you die in. Uh, but yeah. So. Uh, but there is a lockout period to where uh, you are not able to get your dash back when you are performing a dash. That uh, period ends before the dash ends. So we are able to press jump while uh, we are able to press jump before uh, after that ends. Sorry, um, and we are able to get our dash back afterwards. That is called extending. And what uh, we do with reverse hypers is generally when we don't have enough room to normally extend a dash. So we generally only do them to. Mm -hmm get our dash back. There are a couple uh, scenarios where that is not the case, but they are few, few and far between. If I'm making stressed faces here, it's because these jelly, these <laughs> snowballs running across the screen can kill me. Um, I'm just working mostly in cycles where they can't hit me, but sometimes they come very close to it. Yeah, no, the snowballs are terrible. <laughs> You'll notice that my trail is red when I come out of a snowball, and then I'm dashing again once I finish the snowball trail. You mean a bubble? Yes. Well, they're circular. <laughs> I don't think they are made of snow, though, I'm Kate. Basically, that's same. <laughs> Can't prove anything. I mean, science can prove something, but that's chapter four. Golden Ridge, one of the best chapters in the game. The best chapter in the game, actually. Um, I mean, like. Celeste is run off chapter time, like in game time, usually. Yeah. So uh, usually we can use this time in between chapters to like stretch our hands and breathe. But because we want to be c friendly to you, all you people watching, and make sure things are interesting, we're not doing that so much. Yeah. So now we are in the mirror temple. Very spooky. A lot of mirrors, a lot of reflections. Uh, yeah, this is uh, honestly an insanely fun chapter. Ah! But we actually don't do all of it for reasons that we will explain in a bit. Uh, as you can see, the uh, mechanics for this chapter are what I like to call dash blocks. I think people like to call them move blocks, generally. Um, movie, boys. <laughs> movie boys. Movie uh, boys. We can call them movie boys. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what the movie boys do is they uh, basically move on a set path exactly like the zip movers do whenever we dash. So instead of when we touch them, it's whenever we dash, so we have agency over when they move. On top of that is the uh, red bubbles, which are exactly like the uh, green bubbles, except for they except they travel along. Oh, you're not doing yeet. No, oh, I no. don't do yeet. I thought about <laughs> learning it, didn't have enough time. That's fair. Very sad. Uh, but yeah, no, the red bubbles travel along a set path uh, indefinitely until they are interrupted either by a war or us dashing. So normally we'd uh, go to the right up there and get a uh, go through normally and get a key. Uh, to advance through the chapter normally, but we are actually going to pick up the uh, cassette tape for this level uh, because uh, there is a one once glitch, but is now kind of just more of an exploit uh, that where we if we complete a B side without completing fully the respective A side, then we will unlock the next chapter anyway, which was not intended but is bloody cool. So cool. Um, so that is uh, chapter five, that is the Mirror Temple A-side. 
Uh, and now we are going to exit out, go back to map, and we are going to select the B side, which is one of the coolest levels and most frustrating levels in the entire game. And the music bangs. The music is so good in this one. It's got like saxophone. I'll, I'll, I'll stop and I'll not hum. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, uh, this B sides are essentially uh, just remixes of the level as the name suggests that are much harder than the normal A-sides and uh, reuse the same uh, aesthetics, level designs, and themes. Uh, some levels, uh, some rooms in B-sides are generally themed or designed after... Of, this one is particularly uh, a bit faster because of the skip that I just died before I got to. Oh, yeah. Um, because of Bubstruck, uh, which is, as I showed a little bit earlier, if you die in a room close... I got it. Yes! Nice! Yes! Hell yeah. Uh, uh, that is Bub's drop, yeah. Do you want explain to explain if you want. Okay, uh, essentially, so respawn mechanics are really weird in this game. Uh, instead of respawning them, uh, respawning you at a set checkpoint, uh, they in, uh, the game instead has certain respawn points placed throughout rooms, and the uh, unless there's a trigger that changes your respawn location, you will uh, respawn at the uh, last checkpoint uh, or respawn point where the nearest that the uh, the nearest point where you entered the room. So what we can do there is where we went back down to the transition from, we're not supposed to come back through there. So we do a very precise jump that is now made easier through the advent of pause buffering uh, to come back down through the transition so that we can... Ah. No! No! Oh, that's oh. devastating! Oh. Oh. I hate this. This room really sucks. Um. <laughs> so sad. That's really sad. Uh. I'm gonna save. There we go. Nice, back. okay. You <laughs> know! <laughs> never seen that one! Awful. I'll, I'll let you finish this Thank room. You. Uh, that was a demo dash. This is actually a really good place to see a very visible demo dash, especially as a jellyfish, because the jellyfish sprite like entirely oh. changes. You can see that I am like nice, very flat, and I saved my life with the demo dash right there, actually. Yeah, let's go. Um, there's a nice one there where you demo dash up into the bubble before the end of the room, and then you can demo dash up into that very precise gap in the spikes, and yeah. because it's a very precise collision. Uh, you get a few more pixels of leniency. Please let me live. <laughs> so uh, back to Bob's drop. Basically, oh just uh, quickly respawning it, uh, re explaining it. We come back down to the room through a transition that we're not supposed to go through, uh, and it places us to, in a point where that saves about thirty seconds. A bit convoluted, but yeah. Uh, so and a really awful room that it saves as well. Yeah. No, it's like uh, it casually you're supposed to go through and get like three keys to uh, complete this chapter Thank normally. Uh, and yo, that's uh, getting that seeker to hit that bottom point is terrible. Very satisfying. It, it is. It is great to pull off. Not good to do. Uh, what, what, oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I should explain seekers as well. Yes. Uh, this mechanic. Uh, we call them seekers because uh, when Ma they have seen Madeline once, they will always seek her out uh, and find you no matter what. Very scary. Uh, but we are able to bonk on them uh, to get our dash back and get some extra height depending on how long we hold jump. Uh, and whenever they are respawning, as you see, they give a little shockwave, which if we are holding uh, away from the shockwave uh, on the same frame that it, or the same couple of frames that it boosts us away, then we actually multiply our speed. I don't know whether it's doubled, but it's a noticeable increase that is used a lot, especially when we are trying to get seeker boosts. Stop hitting my friend! This is Theo. Theo is uh, Instagram <laughs> uh, friend, though. He is inside a crystal, and the jellyfish holding him is the I funniest just, stuff you will I ever see. I just noticed the sprite! That's hilarious! If you pay attention, he, the jellyfish has a leg that appears and holds onto the, the crystal. Oh, gosh. Oh, um, no. And when you throw Theo, it just kind of slaps out. Very funny. It's very funny. That's actually so cool. That's really funny. This area is called the Gauntlet. It's four rooms in a row with like precise-ish uh, strategies to go through them. Yeah. It's not the, fun. The, generally, the Gauntlet room, uh, unless you're going for a very competitive time, is something that you want to take safe. Uh, so, yeah, no, it's no... Uh, oh, God. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, no shame for taking that room safe. Uh, just getting through that room at all is so good. Rude. I'm Theo. owned by Theo. Theo is very rude. Uh, now we have the cassette room. 
Uh, this happens at the very end of every B-side and also when you are trying to collect the cassette. Uh, but at the end of a B-side, we collect a heart, and that is the end of 5B. Mirror Magic. Interesting that we don't have the achievement pictures. That is interesting, yeah. actually. Hmm. Normally they're accompanied by like really nice illustrations, uh, sort of uh, on topic with level, but unfortunately we don't have that here. 17 deaths in 5B is like fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> perfectly fine. I messed up a couple of big cycles, but all live. Yeah. Now we're into 6A. This little, cuts, this little scene has the most beautiful music you will hear, but we don't get to listen to it for very long. We also have Gay Feathers. Oh, that's true. We do. Uh, yeah, we. I, I think you set up the, uh, a pride mod, which this changes. This hyperline that does that. Hyperline, okay. Uh, we we also have a uh, pride mod which uh, is able to change Madeline's base hair color. Oh, you have the ooh, have Kevin's ooh, as well. Kevin. Oh no, uh, <laughs> you're able to change Madeline's base hair color uh, into a uh, pride flag. Uh, trans rights. Um, trans rights. Trans rights. Uh, and we are uh, uh, we aren't able to see that here, unfortunately, because we have the jellies, but I mean, what more do you need than jellies, right? That's true. Uh, all of the collectibles, like the berries and the tapes so far, have also been transcolored through the Pride Mod. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, no, they aren't in the video game. <laughs> uh, so the mechanics uh, in Chapter 6, so this is mainly the, this b basically the main story climax of the game, uh, to where you confront battle in uh, your manifestation of anxieties. Uh, oh, I've not seen that before. I didn't extend. That's a new one. Uh, but yeah, we confront Madeline at the very start of the chapter, and mm. she gets fed up with us oh because gosh. we are not being healthy to ourselves. I'm a fool. <laughs> you are a fool. Um, the beginning of it is like, oh, I'm just going to fly straight to the top of the mountain. I'm so good. I don't need to keep my mental health issues with me. I can just throw them away, and they'll be stronger. Exactly. And then she gets her to the bottom of the mountain. Uh, pro, a pin, pro tip, that is not how you deal with your mental health. That's hopefully. true. Uh, but Climbing a mountain necessarily isn't either, but like, <laughs> we, can, we can deal. Yeah, but uh, essentially the main mechanics of Chapter 6 are, as you saw, those feathers. Uh, fun fact, if you are playing on a controller with an analog stick, you actually have access to 360 degree movement, which is technically faster. Uh, mainly because when you turn too sharply with a feather, you lose speed. But generally, it's such a minute difference to where whether you do the, uh, uh, keyboard or analog no. feathers. What? I die. Oh no! So Don't die. That's bad. I think it was another problem. We're not extending. I will try not to die. Okay. <laughs> Just deathless run for. Yeah, okay. I'll let you know if I die from here out, and I will have broken my word. No. Uh, we probably have time for a donation for a minute. Yeah, no, I'm... Bees? Small hush. <laughs> Let's Hell go, yeah. Samar. Hell yeah! Yeah! Thank you. Hell uh, yeah! We probably have time for like one or two more. Okay, uh, so right now uh, we are using these bumpers, which are very annoying, uh, to climb down to uh, confront ourselves, uh, our manifestation of anxiety, our little goth battling. Um, so this is, oh yeah, this reminds me, fun fact, this entire level was supposed to be a water level, but the devs uh, heard our pleas and said, no, I don't think we'll make you suffer today. Uh, water movement in Celeste is uh, not the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, oh god, 
Uh, and yeah, no, thank God they made that this not a water level. And now we are going to give ourselves sassy hugs. She's grumpy, but she just does does just want hugs from us. She Sometimes does just she will hugs. shoot lasers and fireballs out of her mouth at us in an attempt to murder us. But we just fight back with hugs. Exactly. All and problems can be solved with hugs, but not actually. <laughs> honestly, jellyfish hugs? Pretty good. Pretty effective. I would not recommend that as a form of mental health treatment. No, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. But I would, re I would recommend to go and hug your local, your local jellyfish if they weren't, uh, if they didn't sting. Mobile <laughs> highs. Local, hugging your local shark plushies is also a recommended form of feeling better. Oh I, my gosh. I am hugging my local Blahaj, and it is making me feel much better. Hell yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, this is... I, is this... No, this is rock bottom. Uh, uh, the <laughs> checkpoints in this level are a bit confusing because they share the same name as the B-side, which is also, funnily enough, uh, technically faster at higher levels. It is brutally hard, though, so Kate is going to do the A-side, as you've been seeing. Yes. Uh, this section is a bit, it, it bleeds together a lot, mainly because you enter the rooms mostly the same, uh, and the movement is very similar. It's a lot of feather movement, a lot of dashing into battlelands, uh, battlelands, uh, a lot of using bumpers really, really weirdly. It's, uh, a lot of, it's very satisfying, though, to learn and get good at when, once you memorize it. So, uh, once you stick with it, oh, that was tight. Yeah, no, that's the cycle. Yeah. But once you stick with it, then it will be golden. No, this isn't golden rich. Okay. You didn't this is this is reflection. There's no This is reflection. There's, there's, there's You're no, right. It's not golden. You know, okay, I'm I, I apologize for my transgressions. Yeah, it's really rude to call it the wrong chapter name. You know, I'm I'm sorry, I'll do better next Thank time. You. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, we have more of this, uh, but the music now remixes because we have confronted ourselves a second time. Uh, and now we are giving sassier hugs. Uh, as you can see, these uh, uh, blocks are now moving uh, before we hit Badalyn, as they, before, before the remix, they m basically moved after we hit battle in every single time. And they just crashed time. to the ground. Yeah, and they, and they... go in the cycle of like up and down, smashy, smashy, crashy. I think... No, uh, I'm misremembering there weren't any moving ones before the remix. No. But yeah, no, we have got a couple of really long rooms coming up, so I might just let Kate focus. So we really want to avoid being in the line of sight of this little laser uh, when it does the like freaky breaky shooty. Uh, I nearly hey. died. Oh. <laughs> Great, please. Oh. Nice. We're so good. That's the end of the Fahad bits. And this is when we confront Badalyn and we become a super jellyfish. Our jellyfish levels up and now we have a second dash. Which you can't see. We can't see. <laughs> Normally it would be pink, but uh, it, is re it is red as you uh, can see jellyfish. from the yes. from the trail. Oh, go up. Thank you. And there's a very precise skip cutscene at the end of this. I'm, I just have to sit here and be ready until I touch the ground. There go. we go. Nice. And that is chapter six. <laughs> Nine deaths in reflection, that's actually really impressive. That was actually a pretty good reflection. None that of these runs are valid, even high PB. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we don't allow uh, the use of the mod launcher Everest that we are using to show you these lovely jelly clips, clips yeah. bleh, uh, on main leaderboards, but there are modded leaderboards, and there are a lot of really good mods out there. So if you have a PC that can take that, please go play them, because there are a lot of mod creators that definitely deserve your support. And like, there are some really genuinely uh, exciting and interesting new ideas explored in the mo mod ma map making community. Oh, absolutely. Um, there's a collection of really gorgeous short shortish ones called the Spring Collab, and coming soon, the Strawberry Jam Collab. Copium. <laughs> coming soon? Don't know what soon means. Coming, coming soon, TM in 2020. <laughs> we, we love them. They're doing great work. Mm. But uh, yeah, we are all looking forward to that. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff going on in the modding community, so if you are able to, show them your support. 
Uh, and one of the really cool things with speedrunning Celeste as well is yes. the speedrunning tool, which is made by Demo Jameson, the same person that Demo Dash is named after, uh, which lets you do like set checkpoints, uh, time specific uh, from specific points to specific points. I can have a dash. I was so confused because I thought you did. <laughs> yes. So, some it really messes with you when you're a jellyfish. This is what I get for having tra uh, trans on one dash at the last marathon, isn't Le it? Layla ran at ASM in Adelaide in July, and the wrong colours on the dash colours. Okay, yeah. but trans rights. <laughs> okay, but like you could just have them the other way around. The lesbian and trans fight could swap around. Okay, but I've played with it for like three years, so I don't that's think that's happening. I think that's a you problem. I, I, you're right. It is a massive skill issue. <laughs> uh, but going over summer real quick. Uh, this uh, the story has basically been completed. Uh, as we have uh, come to terms with our anxiety and now we have two dashes. Uh, as you know, all trans women uh, are uh, able to double jump. Um, but uh, <laughs> we uh, are now, after being thrown back down uh, underneath the mountain, we are now using the help of Badalyn to uh, climb up the mountain once again. So as you'll see, uh, we went through something that is more akin to what we saw in Reflection at the very start. We went through Forsaken City with the zippers, and now we are in uh, sight. Oh, hi, Mr. Oh, oh. My friend. I've never seen someone back that up like that. I, I have so faster. many weird backups in my head. <laughs> I think that's actually a faster backup than what I do. <laughs> I am learning something here. Hell yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Ooh. no, this is... A brutally hard chapter, purely just because it is designed completely differently from every other chapter. Uh, the use of two dashes basically augments the level design in such a way that is completely unique from the rest of the game. So it is uh, also the longest chapter in the game. It takes up a third of any percent. Uh, oh, that's a rough one. Uh, and it is generally the uh, least practice level in the game by most so runners. Long. It's so long. I, I don't blame people for not practicing it, but practice Summit. You You're can practice chunks of Summit, but practicing 3,000 meters got me like a two minute PB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, as you can see, we are now in the Celestial Resort checkpoint. Oh, it's very tight. I nearly died. That was very difficult. It's because Celestial Resort, Resort is the worst chapter. I'm, I'm not happy with you right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can't believe you hurt my feelings like this. Oh. Celestial Resort has feelings too, Kate. No, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it's a building. It's not even a quant it's not even the ghost isn't the building. Okay, that's what you get. That's that's Yeah, this is karma. <laughs> oh no, I don't even Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> you can do this! Okay. We good. Come on. I did just die because I was Making fun nice! Of the That's a really run through that room. It's like a deathly punishing room. <laughs> I don't like that room. Well, I do because it's satisfying, but I don't like that room. <laughs> I don't like it because it's in the worst chapter. I. <laughs> okay, you don't gotta come okay, at me like this. To get the berries in this chapter. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll stop complaining about this soon. But to get the berries, you have to go down through the floor, which you've been taught kills you the entire rest of the game. Okay, that's fair. I think that's silly. But um, anyway, so it's cool. the little orbs <laughs> at the end of each section are uh, battle line here to yeet us up, uh, and there's a quite punishing little cycle Yeet! in this room, and we just get yeeted to the next section. There's a little talking scene where they talk through their feelings every time. This is not Jelly Percent! This is not what I signed up for! Not in my Celeste video game! I'm so sorry that I was not Jelly for two minutes. <laughs> two seconds, I think you mean. Uh, Speedrunner knows how to count. Next. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is hard. Usually I have a nice, nice. jump high on um, entry that I can use for that, and I just messed it up. We are getting another transberry. We love a transberry. I'm gonna keep it until I die. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Redeem it. Oh, there is another berry coming up that I think you might collect. I don't think I do. Snowballs okay, but hear me out. You could collect it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I'm getting the yes! berry. Yeah! Let's give it up for trans rights! <laughs> uh, you don't do... Uh, okay. No, I do the nice little... We, we have a strat uh, that we... The marathon safe word for it is uh, bounding under the terrain. <laughs> That's awesome. It, 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 auto scroll or skip skip? Actually. Auto scroll or skip skip, yes. Or ASS for short. Um, I don't do it. No, no shame, that strat is actually incredibly scary. 
Oh. Ah! No! What if I get that berry? I mean, you could. It's faster. Not that way. No, I mean, not that way, but it is faster. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting... Generally, uh, we only get about, like, two berries because the... Oh, no! That was silly. That was just a brain mistake. Ah, mm. But the second berry that we collected in this chapter uh, is generally out of the way unless you are trying to dash into it. Uh, uh, most any percent runners, uh, uh, they, they are a bit berry phobic, oh, so they do not uh, hit the berry, which I think is very rude. Um, because, I mean, it's right there. It's wanting to be eaten. We're going to do a demo hyper right over top of that and just squeeze through that little gap without having to wait for it. And I should really be demoing because I'm taking this quite greedy. Okay. There we go. Now we are in 2500, which is actually a pretty punishing one. Yeah. It's got a pretty interesting skip coming out. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is uh, um, technically one of the f uh, second... This is the second death warp that we take in the entire run. Uh, so we do some pretty precise movement uh, by holding dash and uh, by using two dash jumps, it's a lot easier. Uh, dash buttons, it's a lot easier. But essentially, instead of going down to... Oh, that's tough. But instead of going down to take a bubble up here to get this key, we instead do this little bonk bonk between the spikes and we get up here, which is all Dev intended. Oh, I thought you weren't going to dash there. I, I was scared. <laughs> I have backups for every single way I can mess up in this chapter. Oh my god. Because I have messed them all up. This one is very scary. <gasps> oh, we are- oh, No! no. Uh, we are about to see a door skip. Oh, yes. Door skip. Uh, door skip. One door. And... Yeah. A two doors, let's two go! Doors. Run's valid. Run, I died. Run is valid. Uh, that, um, not so much anymore, but that was a huge meme in the community because it was uh, a skip that saved very little time for how hard it was at the time. Now with the advent of demos, it uh, is pretty much, like, always go for door skip, but it is really funny whenever someone miss misses it. And now we are coming up on the final stretch of the run. It's just 3,000 meters left. Uh, where we are going to be uh, seeing a lot of flags and a lot of counting. Uh, do you like math, Kate? I hate maths. Let's do it. 29. 29. I want to hear everyone counting. Everyone count. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to skip some numbers, by the way, so you do have to pay attention. 28. 28. Let's go. Oh, no. No! You're delaying the math, Kate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's so hard to count. 27. Oh, oh come on. Come on. <laughs> I've not seen that one before. 26! Okay, I'm gonna focus for a bit. Yep. You'll also notice the confetti when I touch a flag? 29, 25, I can count. I Did you say 29? 20, yeah, 24. I am good at math, so okay, I don't think I'm I have not. A I, think, oh, I think you did. Oh no. No, I don't think I did at that one. You guys are lucky Kate is taking 24 because generally we skip that flag. I think that's a bad idea because I time. 22! Summit is just, uh, 3,000 meters is a lot of tight movement, uh, which is very hard. Uh, 21. We, we didn't really mention the wind at all. Oh yeah, we didn't. I've got downwind at the moment, which is making me 20. fall very fast, and I can't get up very oh, high very quickly. You can cover Please those. let me get with that. Oh, God. Yes! Yes! Okay. Yes! Let's go! Uh, so uh, downwind essentially pushes us down, as you would expect. Uh, it makes us so that we can't get as much jump clearance, and now we have upwind. 19! So Great up job, everyone. Upwind is basically just uh, the devs disguising a water level. 17. Is that 17? Yes, yeah. I skipped 18. Great job, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Counting Sorry, with Celeste. Out the maths. 16. 15. 14. So we are very floaty, as jellyfish normally are. Uh, if you haven't seen it, the uh, oh, 13. Uh, the final level, uh, level of Celeste, uh, Chapter 9, Farewell, a brutally hard gauntlet uh, of nine checkpoints, uh, is where this jellyfish sprite generally, uh, originally came from. Twelve! Uh, so, uh, it's normally a very floaty sort of thing that you can hold. Eleven! <laughs> I'm interrupting myself. Uh, and it basically makes us fall slower. Ten! So, uh, that is pretty accurate to hear, because we are falling very floatily. Ah! Oh! Oh my god. Kate. Okay, good. Ten. Oh, nine? Well, oh my god. 
We skip, skip, I'm skipping eight, by the way. We skip eight. I, we also skip five, for sure. I nearly died. You can throw him a bone. Been awful. Seven! Okay, we'll touch... Do we want to touch five or, or no? Uh, I... Let's touch five. Let's throw him a bone. Right, right, right. We're going to touch five. We'll, we'll see it. Oh, it's six! Good. I can't count. I thought it was next. <laughs> 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 Alright, it's coming up. Five! five. We are about to see time very soon. Four! Just within the next couple checkpoints. The last few flags are very complex. But you can hear the music kind of fading out for the like end of the mountain. Three! Um, each chap each oh, checkpoint no. in Summit had the original instrument from each uh, chapter in the game. Oh yeah, this track is so well composed. Ah! No! I used too many jumps! We are now Red Jelly! Okay. Very careful. Thank very you very careful. much. We're, okay. we're alive. There we go. Two! Time is coming up very soon. And oh. one! What are we going to say when we get to the top? Uh, Zero? Merry Christmas? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Great job. Trans rights? Tra trans, trans, no, trans rights. Trans rights. Trans yeah, rights. I'm gonna say trans rights. Three. Uh, no. There is. This is the and trans time. Rights. Trans rights. Woo! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Celeste. Celeste, we unlocked the video game. Great job. Now we can play the video game all over again. That's true. We're just gonna go get some pie. Uh, just quickly, I am wanting to find the mod creator. That'll be good. Uh, so like we're back in this place, and we're talk talking to our friends that we met along the way. We've got two battle lines in the room because Jel Granny also gets replaced. <laughs> we made a really that. disappointing <laughs> pie with four berries in a 41 minute, 39 se second in-game time. Thank you very much, everyone. This is very fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't find the mod creator, unfortunately. But shout-outs to the original mod creator. This is like an insanely confusing mod, and it is... Very funny. And I'm glad that we got to use it here. Okay. All right.